If you guys have not seen my previous two videos, go check it out. We got the whole front end tore apart, ready for the G37 front end. And we also went ahead and did a wire tuck on both sides. So check out those two videos, guys. Make sure to smash that subscribe button if you guys are not already. We are on our way to 5,000 subscribers. Today in part three, the goal is to have the front end on the radiator support with the frame or with the brackets and everything ready to go. Possibly even have this stuff all mounted back up. We don't know how we're gonna go about that yet, but that is today's goal. So from there, we can get the hood on, the bumper, the headlights when they do come in, the fenders, so on and so forth. But like I said, if you guys are not already, make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of everything. I am so super excited. I hope you guys are as well. And with that being said, guys, let's jump straight into it. So I did a little bit of work last night off camera and this is what we did. I cut all of the center out, which we have pretty much right here, left it all. So I still do have some cleaning up to do, but it's good enough for now. And we are gonna have to make some trim marks here and I believe uh, here as well. And then I still have to cut some out here, but I am trying to preserve this piece right here because I still wanna utilize it. I wanna keep it on there but we do have some trimming we have to do for the radiator cap right here. We have some trimming, I think it's for this right here. We have some trimming here, so on and so forth. So we're gonna go ahead. We got, I think the main part done, which is all of that out. So now I'm gonna start making all my cuts and everything and putting it on and off until we can get this piece mounted up. Once we do that, we can go ahead and get these frame pieces on right here, which are gonna go pretty much like that and they're gonna mount onto that and then I also have the hood strikers on the way which are gonna be right here and right there and then the hood latches themselves which go here and here so we're pretty close to having everything we need I'm so hyped I think we just need um, the hood release button thing which is gonna mount here and then um, the cable, and then just a few other small little things, but for the most part, we have pretty much everything. So we still have to put this piece down in there and make sure that's good. I still do need to trim some, as you can see right there. It is touching. Um, maybe, I think that's pretty much it. Maybe a little bit right here. I have two bolts in and two bolts in. So this is how it's looking and it's, I can honestly stand on this and it would be strong. I managed to save this piece as well. Um, got that notched out for this right here. Um, so I don't, I'm pretty sure it's in the right spot, but I'm not 100%. I mean, it has to be right. Cause I have them bolted up. So I think the ultimate test now is pretty much to continue putting everything on. So let's just do this one. Take this off. So I think the test now is just, uh, pretty much just keep putting everything on make sure it's all lined up so this goes underneath like that see that's how angled it's supposed to be 
it feels like this, that would make more sense to me, but because this is pretty angled. Yeah, that's really angled. Wow. All right, I'm gonna have to do some references and whatnot, but it seems like that's right, but I'm not 100% sure yet. All right, guys, so maybe a little bit more trimming. Um, just a smidge here, since it's barely touching that corner right there. I don't know if you guys can pick that up or not. And it's like barely touching there, right there barely and then this is good this is in here but i'm gonna just notch a little bit more out on the bottom but that's in there we have this on but i don't know if this is the right placement or not how it should be because to me it looks very angled it's a lot more angled in person than the camera is showing it's pretty it's pretty steep i don't know if that's supposed to be there or not if so then yeah, we can go ahead and continue to tighten this down and throw the other one on, which is right there. And then that's pretty much it. The front end core support is done. Yeah, that's how it's looking. That's how it's looking right now. I'm just waiting for some feedback right now from um, Eddie. I don't know, I think I mentioned him in my previous video, but if I did, I forgot to tag him. I'll tag him right here. Um, He's the one that's been helping me out a lot. So check out his YouTube channel as well, guys. Um, he's the one that pointed me through what I need, how to do it, and all his videos and everything. I've been a great help. So I've been going to him constantly for advice and whatnot. And, uh, but yeah, so far, guys, I'm super happy. Um, that's pretty much it. And then we just have to really just throw this one on. And we're looking good. Big progress today. All right, so I went ahead and threw the other one on, and I actually tightened them down, so these are snug. This is a little bit of a close fit right here because it's touching this. So if this bolt hole needs to be utilized, I'm not sure how that's going to happen, which actually I think that's where... So this is where the latch goes, so I think that is going to have to be used. So how is that going to happen? I don't know yet, so maybe... And we can't go up anymore because the radius core is where it needs to be, which is these top mounts. So I'll have to figure that out, but both are tightened in. So yeah, so that's, it's looking like a car again at least, so that's good. Now that is definitely not the right spot. I don't even know how that bumper goes on yet to be honest, but let's just get an idea, I don't know. Very high off the ground, like I said, that's not where it's gonna go. Um, but dude, just a little sneak peek. I do the fenders, but I need to take the spacers off the wheels, pop those out. But, um, stand back, take a look. Sheesh. Sheesh. I'm so excited, guys. This is awesome. Once, like I said, once the radiator support side is completely done with, that's where we can really begin mounting the hood, the fenders, mock test fitting, the bumper, all of that good stuff. I am very, very happy. And uh, here we have everything over here. So we have the hood right here. Shout out to you. We have the first fender. This is used. And then a subscriber gave me a new one. Um, Brand, brand new, so super happy on that. So I have both fenders, the hood, uh, the bumper, which we'll be doing a lip kit and all of that, but I'm not really concerned on any of that yet. And then I have the headlights on the way as well. Uh, so those should be in um, those, the hood striker and the hood latch should be in this week, fifth and sixth. So I'm excited, but nonetheless, I am happy. All right, guys, so I talked to Eddie and all of it looks good. This is supposed to wrap around. I went ahead and ordered the piece that goes from here to right there. And then once that comes in, um, we can get that mounted up and then I'll end up mounting this to get it. I'll mount this to that somehow, probably just like that. I'll drill 
like a hole right here and it just mounts it so it lines up good um, and then as far as all of this stuff we can kind of bring all of this around shoot I can even run it right through here if I wanted to um, so we'll just have to undo this again run it through here and then yeah and then I went ahead and threw on this fender just to get an idea so it's only held on right here and then this all has a gap so there's no um, mounts there that back one right right where is it at can't even see it on camera where is it this one right here I believe it's gonna mount to the hinge I think let's see this is the right one this is the left one and then I believe how does this go I don't even know how this goes I think this goes like this yeah I think it's gonna be like that so I think that's supposed to mount but as you can see it's nowhere even near I think it's gonna go like that I'm pretty sure um, but I need a trim and also on top of it like I said the wheels are too wide right now technically but you get an idea of what it's gonna be like the 37 front end I just don't know where this tab bolts to if this is supposed to be on this side or that side or if it's supposed to come I, I, I don't even know and then that'll be for the front bumper which damn that's not even on that new fender, so I'll have to get that situated. Um, but let's throw that fender on real quick. All right, so it does not fit up at all. This is overlapping big time. Scapping is different. That's where we're gonna need to use the other ones. Um, yeah, this side's not fitting up, like not even close. A lot of it's the wheel, I have to take the wheel, but I got the one bolt same on that side. So I'll step back and get an idea. I'm excited. Let's try the bumper. It's pretty difficult. The new tab, and like I said, I don't have the mount here, but we have this one on. This one's partial. Damn, dude. Oh my god. This is crazy. And it's crazy. Look how much space there is here. So much room for activities. But that's where that cover is going to come in. And this isn't even fully in. Nothing's in the right spot at all. We're not going to put the hood on. Just because it's heavy. don't feel like doing it right now. But damn, dude. Look at that, guys. Oh, my. Oh, this is... I'm... <laughs> so excited i'm so happy this is gonna be so cool here all right guys so we got everything back apart um so we're gonna have a fender mount right here right here so i'm putting them in just so i know and then um the hinge part right here but we'll do that last um right now i'm gonna go ahead and get the car aired up we're gonna remove the wheel spacers get those off um, that way we can start appropriately start mocking everything up in the next video. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, I'll probably just do that off the camera, no big deal. Just gonna jack it up, pull the wheel off, take the spacer off, put the wheel back on. And then from there, um, I think that's about all we can do at the moment. I'm gonna trim, I need to trim a little bit here. So we are gonna remove this again. I need to trim this out a little bit. And then um, I'm gonna throw some epoxy down because that piece broke so easily. This piece right here. Um, and then I have a crack going from like right here down to there. So I'm gonna put some epoxy in my 3M panel bonder. Let that stuff just sit. So that way um, by tomorrow, it'll be fully dry and back how it should be. This actually worked out good. I think we can actually just go ahead and just keep it like that. That's actually enough pressure and it's not even fully tightened either, but so that's all set in place. So that's good actually. So I'm really happy. It's looking really good. Let's go ahead and get this off. All right guys, we just got this side um, all done and put back together. 
So these were the spacers I'm running for two inch spacers. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be like, I think these are two inch actually. Uh, pretty sure those are two inch. I don't have a tape measure, but yeah. I know a lot of people are just gonna say these are super sketchy, but to be honest, I've had them since the whole time I've had these wheels. And I've drifted on them, I've freeway, a lot of driving and never had an issue. No shaking, nothing. Um, so right now we're working on this side and then we are also gonna clean this up. Um, if you look, when I did the wire tuck, it comes under. Um, I thought I had put it over, so we're actually gonna put it over like I did on this side. Right here. So I redid this side, now it goes over and everything's good. And then on top of it, when I air out, there's plenty of uh, free space up there, but we'll end up doing that a lot better um, eventually. So right now that's what I'm gonna do. I still have to electrical tape all of this. I have an open wire here. Hopefully that didn't come out. No, I didn't. I think that was the, oh, yep, it did. Shoot, okay. Yeah, it was because when I was trying to stuff it through this hole right here, um, this was a lot. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. But not a big deal, I'm not worried about that at all. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done, get the wheel put on. And then we still need to pull this all off one more time. I think, I hope, get this trimmed. Um, and I think that should be it. And then we'll start epoxying everything, getting uh, mainly that and then just this. And then get all of that good to go. And I think we're solid here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the car aired out. I just wanna make sure everything's good right there. Um, let me tuck that. Yeah, so I just wanna make sure everything is gonna be good. And we will end up, like I said, making it better. Um, but I just wanna make sure it's fine for now. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this removed again and get, what did I need? I think it was just this right here. Actually, I could probably even do that while it's on the car with some snips. Let me see. You could probably get that actually cut while it's on the car. Maybe I'm gonna try that. That way we don't have to remove everything. But I do wanna air the car out though still and make sure everything is good. Actually, no, I do have to because I have to run this. I mean, I could run it still, I guess like that, but I think it's gonna look better through here. So let's just go ahead and just pop this one off, maybe pull it forward, remove this right here, pull it forward, tuck all of these in, and then I'm gonna use some tin snips, which I think are somewhere. I need to clean my garage. I don't know where they are right now, but I'm gonna try to get that. Where is it? Shoot. No, I have them somewhere, but I'm gonna try to get this cut on the car. All right, guys, so quick update. Um, got that routed through, so we're good to go here. We'll pull in what we need to pull in, but we'll pretty much get everything mounted up. Um, we got this trimmed, so this is good. So now we have plenty of clearance around that. Um, I'm. Like I said, I'm gonna epoxy all of this, this crack, and this little piece right here. This stuff breaks very easily. We're gonna epoxy all of that. Um, and then we have a quick update on that. All of this in here. There, it's, yes, it is squished, but there, it still does move around. I know you guys can't see. You're just gonna take my word for it. It does move around. It does have clearance. So I'm not worried about that. And we don't drive that low anyways. So we're good so pretty much uh everything is fully done i have this mounted right here or holding this up for now when this brace comes in it'll put it exactly where it needs to be um so yeah we're looking really really good we got this piece right there epoxy we got this one epoxy uh, i put tape over it to hold it um but that's yeah so that's done and then we had this whole one done right here cracked all the way down to there the reason for that one was because i tightened this too much and then it just cracked it um we'll begin the fenders and stuff once this stuff's dry which will be um tomorrow usually it takes about 24 hours and then yeah once we get everything else in the hood latch we'll put that on there and there put that piece on there um and then i have the spring as well on the way which will go here so we're looking really good guys massive progress today i think that's where we're gonna leave it i hope you guys enjoyed please 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 guys take a moment smash that subscribe button if you guys are watching today's video it really does help me out a lot and it really does mean a lot to me 
I am trying my hardest to hit 5,000 subscribers. That's the reason why we're doing all of this. My car was pretty much done. I mean, this was something I wanted to do regardless, but I wasn't planning on doing it this quick. I'm mainly doing it for subscriptions and views and whatnot because this is a passion of mine. This is something that I really want to do in life. Hopefully, one day, my channel can take off. So, with your guys' help, you can make that happen. And I promise there will be more giveaways and whatnot. I will definitely be repaying it back to you guys. But subscribe if you're not already. It's free. Hit that thumbs up and comment down below. I respond to every single comment. This thing is going to be looking so cool very, very soon. I hope to catch you all in the next one, guys. Till next time. As always, peace out.